be face to face with people at a physical distance. Um, I know one of the questions that's come up uh, a number of times is why aren't you insisting that everybody wear a mask? I want to be really, really clear. Um, our expectation is that everybody who worships with us here on site will be wearing a mask or a face shield. And so if someone comes and they don't have a mask, we will have masks available for them to wear. And face shields. And if someone really is opposed to wearing a face mask for whatever reason, we will have face shields available too that will be personalized and that will sanitize from one week to the next um, so that everybody will um, have a face protection. And, and again, that is for not just the person, because we know that the types of masks that we'll be providing are only helpful as a defense against spreading it to others. That is, um, it keeps them from um, spraying out uh, those particles, droplets, and aerosols that um, are a threat to my neighbor. But the masks that we have don't protect you from other people. Um, and so knowing that, we don't wear those for ourselves. We are wearing those, again, as an act of love for our neighbor. And I know that many people uh, wanted us to say, that's part of our Christian response. And so we don't want anybody to take undue offense uh, when they arrive and they hear us asking them to wear a mask. It's not or meant... Or handing them a mask and, or a and shirt. And we understand that there's debate about um, the value of masks. We understand that. but because there is genuine debate and because it has been recommended, we think it's an act of love to wear a mask for the other. I think that's the important thing to, re to remind you here. So I, I guess I would be a little bit surprised if we asked someone to wear a mask or a face shield and they absolutely refuse. That to me is, seems to run counter to a Christian heart to absolutely refuse out of a sense of pride or stubbornness um, I would hope for better fruits from the Spirit, fruit of the Spirit from our folks that are part of the life of St. Andrew. And so um, in case there's any lack of clarity there, we really are asking everybody to wear either a mask or a face shield as they're in worship with us. Now, one of the places you'll see